My name is Leila Ahmed and I'm a family of two kids, my brother and I. Um, my mum's Australian and my father's Pakistani, so it's a bit of a mix there. Uh, I wasn't growing up in a religious background. My parents let me choose, so in a sense they, I guess, I, I had the chance to understand Islam truly for myself. I didn't have anyone push me into anything or anything like that. So when when I realised that my father was, he'd go somewhere every Friday and I'd ask my mum, where's my dad gone? And he, she said, Juma. I had no idea what Juma was. I absolutely did not. I didn't even know he was Muslim. And I decided to ask him about it. He he explained to me the the purpose of Juma, what it was, and he explained to me that it was part of the five daily salats and it was around the time of Zuha. So I asked him, would I be able to come with you? to see this Juma. He said, yeah. So I, he, he asked me to just, just respect, as respect, wear the traditional clothing, long dress, a scarf and long sleeves. And so I did. And when hearing the talk in the Juma, I guess it, it gave me, it gave me like a sense of realization like, Islam was very new to me. I had no idea of it. I'd see Muslim people walking around. I didn't even know, like, why these women wore the scarves. Nothing like that. When my first visit to the mosque, it wasn't actually a mosque, because where I, I originally grew up was in Cairns. And they had a house in which they, they'd hold these Islamic prayers and... Islamic like events and my first day I heard the surah of um, the year of the elephant when I heard this he, he said it both in English and Arabic and when I heard this it it just felt like especially the Arabic it it was so soft and light it made me feel at peace and after that I asked, I asked my father more questions, like, what's the purpose of Salat, and why do you do, why do you do this? Did you choose Islam yourself, or, and why do these women wear the scarves, and what's the Quran? What does it all mean? Everything. What does Islam mean, in particular? He explained these to me. He, he even showed me the Quran, looking at these these words in the Quran, it was, it was remarkable, it was just beautiful, it was so beautiful that any, nothing else could compare to it. One day I decided after, after, you know, researching and looking into it and then my father telling me about Islam, bringing me to Juma, Maghrib, Isha, all the Salat and even Eid, he brought me to one of the Eids one day. I wasn't actually fully Muslim then. I was still, I was still a practicing, uh, but I hadn't converted just yet. And one day, I decided. I decided. I just went out to him. I said, "I want to become Muslim," and that was my final decision. I had finally decided I want to become Muslim. And it was we we went to the mosque. And the Imam, he, he got me to say the kalima, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, and the shahad to declare that I am Muslim, that I believe in only Allah and His Messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. After that, about a year and a half, after practicing reading the Quran, it took me about a year to learn how to read the alphabet, like the Arabic alphabet. And 
This was around the time when we had moved to the Gold Coast. My parents moved here because to give my brother and I the chance to learn more about Islam and to, to become better Muslims as well. And in doing this, I learned, my brother also converted at the same time as, as I did, except for it took him a while longer to understand, but in, alhamdulillah, we're both Muslim now, and we're both reading Quran now, alhamdulillah. Back in Cairns, there, there are only few Muslims, so the friends, the friends that surrounded me, I lost, I lost a lot because their understanding and their perception of Islam was, was uh, very different and not many of them had that respect for Islam. So when I converted Islam, I lost pretty much all my friends. So I had no one but my supporting mother and father and brother and my father's family. We're very supportive as well through the hard times. And Islam, without Islam, I wouldn't have been able to pull through such a thing. Islam showed me that true friends will stick through, definitely. If they understand, then they will stick through. And in, when moving to the Gold Coast, Starting off, I did not have many friends at school, although there were more Muslims and the children he here do understand Islam a, a lot more and making friends was a lot easier as well. I do have two very fantastic friends and inshallah, I hope inshallah one day they will also convert to Islam. They often come with me to Juma to listen to the talks and they say it's very beautiful and alhamdulillah I'm happy to hear that no matter what my friends, these two friends they, they're just one of the most two wonderful people I've ever met and with them Islam would become even greater inshallah alhamdulillah It took me about a year to start wearing the scarf and that was a time when I had moved to the Gold Coast and seen, seen more Muslims around and a lot more people having a lot more respect for Muslims. It became easier for me to practice Islam openly, not hide it, hide it or, or be in the closet about everything. Like when someone asked me of my faith, I didn't have to be quiet. I could, I can now openly say I'm a Muslim and I'm proud of it. You know, it's it's something that I'm not afraid to admit. And when I wore, I decided. I asked my father, I'm going to wear the scarf tomorrow. I'm going to turn up to school and just wear the scarf. And that's what I did. I put on my scarf. I made, I made a vow that I would forever wear this scarf permanently. And that was that was where I started off from wearing the scarf. It. I felt. I felt more pure. I felt better. People looked at me, yes, but some looked at with looked at me with more respect. Some others did not, but. I felt I felt people weren't looking at, at me as if I was exposing myself, as if I wasn't disgusting or anything. And I feel a lot more happier. I feel at peace. I feel my heart feels lighter. It's it's just a wonderful feeling. Alhamdulillah. I would never change it. Not for the world. Not for anything. I'd, ra I'd rather die than take this off. My life didn't change in a way, in a 
major way, I, I still am the same person. I'm still a human being, just as everyone else. I'm equal to everyone else. But my life has become more pure and it's everything, everything makes more sense. I stay away from the haram and I keep to the halal. That's, that's, the, main, that's the main way. And to offer this to other people, it would make a great difference. It, Islam has a lot to offer, really. To me, Islam off, offered peace, prosperity, truth, love, cleanliness, and a way of life. To me, Islam is a way of life. That is the bottom line, a way of life. And I'm still the same person. I'm, I'm still a Nazi, but my faith is different. I'm a Muslim. I'm an Aussie Muslim. And I'm proud to say I'm a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> And you wonder how far you can go Every step on that road that you take Allah knows